In this video, we are going to explore the astonishing engineering of Joby Aviation's S4, one of the leading aircraft in the EVDOL category. In February 2021, Joby Aviation took the center stage when they released two videos showing a functional prototype, the S4. This is significant because there are more than 100 companies working on EVTOL aircraft, but only a handful of them have a full-scale functional prototype. One of the features that stood out was the very low noise of the aircraft during hovering, a phase of flight where the noise levels are the highest. This was demonstrated by Joby Aviation's CEO, Joe Ben Bevert, in a video who did not have to raise his voice while speaking to the camera as the aircraft took off behind him. This demonstration came after more than 10 years of development during which the aircraft saw several iterations and complete design overhauls. To date, Joby Aviation has completed more than a thousand successful test flights that were both remotely controlled and piloted. At present, the S-4 is the only known aircraft that is meeting the 88 decibel limit set for urban air mobility. It should be understood that for urban air mobility to become a reality, the two fundamental factors are the low noise levels and redundancy. The high range of the aircraft, although important, will only enhance its utility but does not qualify it for operating in an urban environment. Looking at many of the eVTOL designs that have come to the fore, it is clear that Joby has got their priorities right in developing what might be the very first air taxi to enter operation. Such is the confidence in the sound engineering of Joby Aviation that it has already got a partnership with Toyota and has secured hundreds of millions of dollars of funding. So let's look at all the design elements that make Joby Aviation's S4 so unique and robust. The most obvious feature of the aircraft are its propellers. The S4 aircraft has six high solidity propellers which may look small but are actually 2.9 meters in diameter each. Note that in Joby's other aircraft, the S2, there are 12 propellers with smaller blades of around 1 meter diameter. The disc loading of the S2 was 80 kg per square meter while the disc loading for the S4 is just 46 kg per square meter which is much better than all of the conventional tilt rotors and tilt wing aircraft in operation. The low disc loading means less power intensive and more efficient hover for the S4. Just for comparison, the Lilium jet has a disc loading of above 400 kg per square meter. The five bladed propellers of the S4 have an anhedral tip. Research has shown that the anhedral blade tip shape provides a higher hovering performance and reduces noise. This is an important learning for many eVTOL developers that are struggling to keep the noise levels down and cannot use variable pitch blades. Anhedral propellers also provide good efficiency during cruise mode. For those who want to learn more, there is a link in the description section to a more detailed article. The tip speed of the S4 is only 113 meter per second. For comparison, the tip speed of a Robinson R44, the top selling helicopter of its category is 215 meter per second. This is another reason why the noise levels are low. According to its CEO, Joby's signature sound is more like the wind in the trees. Another distinctive feature of the Joby S4 is that the outboard propellers tilt with the nacelle, while the inboard propellers have a unique linkage mechanism that allows the blade to tilt without tilting the nacelle. Each motor is about 70 kilowatts power rating and there are two motors powering each propeller to provide a layer of redundancy. One of the problems eVTOL aircraft have with inboard propellers is the difficulty of tilting them without tilting the whole wing. Thankfully, this problem has been resolved by Joby Aviation through their push link mechanism. There are two tilt rotors on the V-tail, which is also a very unique feature. Only Hyundai SA-1 aircraft and some small aerobatic drones have propeller mounted V-tail. Let's now discuss the airframe. The S4 has a capacity of one pilot and four passengers. 
The high wing S4 version 1 has a wingspan of 10.7 meters and a length of 7.3 meters. This will be changed to 11.6 meters and 6.4 meters respectively in S4 version 2. Another striking feature of the S4 is the forward swept wings just like its sister aircraft the S2. Interestingly, the forward swept wings can also be found in Heaviside and EVTOL aircraft by Kitty Hawk. It can be postulated that this wing configuration has been used to avoid lateral torque due to the difference between the center of thrust and the center of weight of the aircraft. The exact figure for the lift to drag ratio for the S4 is not known, but it has been mentioned by the CEO to be in the high teens, that is around 16 to 18. The fuselage for the S4 is made of composite materials with a tricycle landing gear. The maximum takeoff weight is 1815 kilograms. The payload capacity is 381 kilograms for the pilot and four passengers. Note that the maximum takeoff weight will be increased to 2177 kilograms with a 454 kilogram payload capacity in S4 V2. This will meet the FAA standard of 91 kilograms or 200 pounds per seat of assumed weight. Let's now have a look at the battery pack for the S4 V2 because this is where the real engineering challenge lies. From the specs, the S4 needs to have a 150 mile range with a 200 miles per hour top speed. To achieve this performance, a battery pack of at least 200 kilowatt hour capacity is required. Joby's own documents reveal that they have set 19% for the weight of the propulsion system, 21% for the payload, 25% for everything else, and 35% for the battery. In terms of weight, this would amount to 762 kilograms for the battery pack. Joby Aviation has mentioned that it uses lithium ion cells that are almost 300 watt hour per kilogram or 0.3 kilowatt hour per kilogram. Note that this is the energy density at the cell level. The energy density at the pack level is lower because there are elements added to the cells such as structural supports, current carriers or bus bars, control and monitoring electronic systems, safety components and cooling systems. Therefore, the pack level energy density is always lower. The best flying battery packs at present have an energy density of around 170 watt hour per kilogram. Joby claims that it has achieved an energy density at pack level of 235 watt hour per kilogram. This is unheard of and if true, is remarkable. Although it has been hinted that the battery and its cooling system may have been integrated in the airframe of the aircraft and would be hard to remove. Even with such high pack level energy density, the S4 will have a pack of 179 kilowatt hour capacity given that the total weight allowance is 762 kilograms as discussed before. The 179 kilowatt hour capacity is great, but is short of the required 200 kilowatt hour, although not by much. So it would not be able to achieve the range of 150 miles that it aims to with the current lithium ion cells. But even a range of 100 miles opens up plenty of options. And with the batteries of 350 watt hour per kilogram being developed, Joby is in good stead as it already has overcome other engineering challenges required for being a certified air taxi. So we have covered the engineering aspects of the Joby S4. Till now, it is the most promising and the most credible EV toll in the market. This aircraft is truly leading the pack. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thank you for your attention.